every mission to the surface of Mars has in some way helped prepare for the eventual arrival of humans. But no mission has gone as far as Perseverance with its effort to test the materials that will keep astronauts alive on the surface. On this episode of Mars Guy, Mars has an atmospheric pressure at its surface equivalent to just over 100,000 feet above Earth's surface, a place where Felix Baumgartner needed a spacesuit to survive and a parachute. Mars has an average atmospheric pressure of 6 millibars, enough air for clouds and wind and global dust storms, as I presented in the previous episode, but way too little air for humans to survive. So, like astronauts on the moon, humans on Mars will need a spacesuit to go outside their habitat, one that can hold up to conditions there for extended periods. Scientists and engineers at NASA's Johnson Space Center came up with a way to use Perseverance to test the long-term performance of various spacesuit materials in the Mars environment. They worked with the Sherlock instrument team to incorporate these materials into its calibration target, which provides a set of materials of known composition and texture to characterize the performance of Sherlock on Mars. The five spacesuit materials are in addition to the five materials chosen by the Sherlock team. Perseverance carries this calibration target mounted to the front of the rover. Here's Mars Guy for scale, pointing to its location. It sits under an aluminum alloy umbrella that protects it from any lubricant leaks from the elbow joint on the robotic arm, which is directly above when the arm is stowed. This past week, Perseverance used its Watson camera, the sidekick of Sherlock on the robotic arm, to image the CAL target. This has been done periodically over the course of the mission to monitor for any changes. It first shot this same scene more than four and a half years ago, a few weeks after landing. The dust kicked up by the retro rockets during the landing coated the polycarbonate target, partially obscuring the geocache coin underneath. This feature is for education and public outreach part of a recreational activity that's like a global treasure hunt. It looks like the dust coating is still there years later, but not obviously worse than after landing. It also doesn't look discolored, despite the intense UV radiation at the Martian surface. The four fabric targets look remarkably clean and undamaged. This is surprising to me because I expected dust would have accumulated in the weave of these materials. Instead, they look nearly dust-free. One of these has a coating designed to resist dust, but it looks the same as the uncoated version of the Teflon fabric next to it. It likely helps that all the pieces are mounted vertically, and maybe the same processes that have cleaned parts of Perseverance previously, probably dust devils or wind gusts, have also cleaned the Cal target. If so, then it may be easier to keep spacesuits on Mars cleaner than what was seen on the moon, where fine particles were easily trapped on Apollo spacesuits. It also appears that the intense UV radiation on Mars has not noticeably degraded any of these materials. So it looks like they've survived the torture test, or maybe the surface of Mars is not as torturous as expected. <laughs> 